1986. Well, the magazine itself started three years before that, but um, uh, yeah, you can have that if you want. Oh, I've got enough people copies here. It's about four pages long, I think. I've got, used to be what, about two a year, little boy? Two, yeah. yeah. Mm. One year there was three, but yeah. I couldn't yeah. cope with it after that. Right. Yeah. Six. Now there's... I said I had a couple of photos here when I joined the Air Force. And these were, these were them. Yeah. Unfortunately, that one, which was the best photo of the lot, got boobed. And that was me there. <laughs> yeah. But there's only about six of us here. That was on leave in, um, in Christchurch that day. A Christchurch guy took us, he took us for a, uh, a ride in his car. He said, I'll show you around Christchurch, right? There was one, Who was two... That uh, three, four, five, six of us. And he said, uh, I'll take you for a ride around Christchurch and show you the Christchurch, which he did very, very nicely. I don't know who he was, but not he was... Old, not old Clary Haynes. Oh, no, it, was, no, it wasn't a K-Force man. This oh, is when I joined the Air Force oh, okay. part of it. Oh, yeah. I see.
Catafalque guard is traditionally mounted around the coffin to ensure the safety of the body. The reversed arms symbolizing that the dead are at peace. It's mounting this morning at this cenotaph, cenotaph meaning empty tomb, symbolizes a link with the tens of thousands of New Zealanders buried or commemorated overseas. a site of memory for both Māori and Pākehā. It's the day we come together to remember. And here come our veterans. Loving God, the cost and horror of those days still haunt us as a nation today. Time has not diminished the crippling effect this war had upon our country and our communities. Tears of grief and loss still flow. Lord, where we stand here now also is sacred ground. This memorial and museum, like monuments and cenotaphs throughout this land, have chiselled into stone the names of young and brave who died in conflict we acknowledge the sacrifices made by thousands of men and women over intervening years, protecting our security, our freedom and democracy. God, as we remember the courage and sacrifice of so many, make us a people zealous for peace and hasten the day when nation shall not lift up sword against nation. As the sounds of battle fade away, and the scars of war heal over, we forever will remember them. We come together today as a nation to pay tribute as we do each year to those who have served their country at war and those who gave their lives on our behalf. On dawn this day, 102 years ago, the first contingent of New Zealand soldiers landed at Anzac Cove in Gallipoli. The Gallipoli campaign was to cost 2,221 Kiwis their lives, with another 4,752 wounded, and it never succeeded in the objectives it set. Today is a day of remembrance. Of the 100,000 troops who left New Zealand to fight in World War I, over 18,000 died and 60,000 were casualties. In a small country of barely one million people, scarcely a community or a family was left untouched by this tragedy. It was the war to end all wars, but just 21 years later, New Zealanders were again called on to fight aggression by Nazi Germany and Imperial Japan, and 12,000 more New Zealanders gave their lives. Few other countries suffered casualties of the proportion of their population that New Zealand did in two world wars. 
Since 1945, New Zealanders have served in other conflicts in Korea, Malaya, Vietnam, Bosnia, East Timor, Afghanistan, Iraq, and elsewhere. They have served with decency, courage, and professionalism. Today, as we commemorate those who died for us, let us try to make sense of this sacrifice by striving for a world which one day may be free of war and injustice and where all people may live in peace, lest we forget.
I sort of regret the fact that we have, um, shall we say, closed up shop, but uh, it was something that had to happen because, just like myself, we're getting older every day and we're getting more and more uh, problems with sickness and ill health. And my legs are a bit, uh, a bit funny. One goes one way and one goes the other sometimes. And this is only going to get worse. So rather than uh, carry on in that line, we decided that it was time we finished up. Uh, uh, it's... Uh, as far as the smaller branches, like Auckland and that, are concerned, they will probably carry on for at least another three, maybe four years. But uh, that's probably going to be the limit of it. Uh, like everything in life, um, the, the, the comes an end, and this is just the end. And my feelings then were that uh, it had to happen within the next ten years. They need to be together, but not under their present controls that they've got at the moment in North Korea, because I think that's just, uh, yeah, that's not good. But I'm, I'm convinced that it will eventually happen. <laughs> Submarine Association, World War II British and Commonwealth troops, New Zealand veterans of South Korea, Malaya, Borneo, Vietnam, East Timor, Solomon Islands, Afghanistan, Iraq, and NATO. The Royal Marine Association, current Royal New Zealand Navy personnel, current New Zealand Army personnel, current Royal New Zealand Air Force personnel,
right to, and then we served in Korea on the same ship. and luncheon to commemorate the national closing of the National Association. I would also like to extend a special welcome to the Senior Military Officers of the Auckland Command who support the Auckland Region branch each year, the ceasefire parade. In June 1950, North Korea invaded the South. At the end of that month, on the 29th of June, New Zealand offered its first set of forces for the newly formed United Nations established to defend South Korea. So this is with honour and thanks to all that served in Korea. Robin is saying this is in honour and with thanks to all of those who served in Korea. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Give me a smile I can keep all the while in my heart while I'm away. Till we meet once again, you and I. Wish me luck as you wave me goodbye. They'll be happy to know that when you saw me go, I was singing this song. We'll meet again, don't know where, and don't know where, but I know we'll meet again some sunny Thank you.